Some people have got really, really upset about this Fixture Life thing that's happened. And if you don't know what happened, Fixture Life and a few other gentlemen or ladies or whatever the hell they are have released some videos giving a full review. And why some of the Path of Exiles creators are actually really upset with this is because most of them are under the belief that no one had access to the game because none of the Path of Exiles streamers or content creators, the Path of Exiles 1 1, got any access to it. Now, I'm being a little bit quiet tonight because everyone's in bed and it's just, just come through. So I wanted to just do a quick video on it. So I'm going to be sounding even more monotone than I usually do. But let's go through what some people have said about it. Now, there's some pictures and stuff on here where we can actually see what's going on. Let me just see if it's the right size. Whereas talking about what's in Path of Exile 2, I'm not going to show any spoilers or anything like that. Nothing that we don't already know. So don't worry, I'm not going to say anything bad. But we got a, uh, a couple of things that they were talking about with the 35 to 40 hour estimated playtime for the first three acts, which is actually really good for some of our story people. And there was another one where, let me just get that out real quick. And Imperium said the worst part about it is actually that Fixture Life can already start editing his wiki in which he will embed his stream and he does in every category. And it's like, I think there's a lot of creators that are really up just upset that they didn't also get this early access they only got the access through certain events that were going through imperium calling factual life shameless for dropping it now we don't know if there was an nda or not we're just assuming that there was an nda there's nothing that's been said right now but usually in these cases there would be an nda especially for someone like factual life who does a lot of rpg content and while he's not really known for completely being honest in his reviews because there's always a lot of issues and stuff and it's it, there's a lot of paid sponsorships and things that just seem like there should be because of the way he speaks about certain things that are really bad. But we also have Darth Mac and Transaction here who was talking about under the under the, like under the impression that there would be no review copies for anyone. Looks like some people did get some after all. He then went on to say that more than likely early access was a cancelled concept and few people slipped through the cracks and were like to forget to be told not to push the footage. Not really a huge deal in my opinion, no major spoilers. Now it was only an hour ago and there's only been a few comments since then. So if I quickly get that up real quick here. Imperium saying again, he really hoped there wouldn't be because there's a lot of, the thing is that there's a lot of first world players that want to actually complete the game the quickest like the first in the world to be able to do that and it seems that it's not going to be possible now because there were review copies given out for the game so that's why some people i can see why that's okay to be upset about honestly i don't see how that's like someone has the right to be upset with that but just because you didn't get a review copy and someone else did isn't a right like i mean no one deserves like it shouldn't be something that you expect there's something that's given out which some creators i'm sure if they're creating path of exhaust content for so damn long maybe they should have been like some of the people who were given that early access to the game but also on the other hand there's a lot of people that are really upset with the fact that people are going to be able to write guides and stuff like that and have guides will come out on the first day it's kind of like hitting a lot of people's bottom line now if the guides are not good then it's not going to do anything so it's not really that big of a deal but if the guides are good it's going to affect a lot of the playing at the beginning and we'll see depending on how many youtubers drop videos on the first day of full guides of entire classes at max level we'll see how that actually goes and see if that's a thing that actually starts to happen but we don't know yet we're not 100 percent sure i mean some comments that were kind of funny proper diablo like behavior from ggg again there's another person here edward lewis he said you say that until they publish 20 different build guides on the sick on the first day because it, this is in response to uh daft microtransaction showing that it's not that big of a deal because there's no big spoilers or anything you just don't go on youtube when the game is released personally speaking and then there's another person talking about how as long as it's not data mined so they can get like the best builds on day one etc etc <laughs> someone said actually no big spoilers here but 30 seconds after the end day nda is out the dick shit life <laughs> post 13 videos about things people haven't seen yet it's gonna be a really fun experience for anyone involved regardless of huge spoilers it seems most of the fan base wants to go and blind this time which is totally cool with me which is fine you don't have to watch the stuff again like i've said in previous videos you don't have to watch any of the stuff that gets put up there if you click on something then get spoiled that's kind of your own damn fault to be perfectly honest no one's forcing you to consume this content at all no one i'm probably gonna get some hate for that but it is what it is we had another comment from never sync who was talking about it seems that people are getting review copies of health of exiles 2 while there's nothing wrong with that i wish these guys wouldn't break the nda also i really hope the facial life wiki won't become the official poe wiki and this is a gentleman who does a lot of work on path of exiles did a lot of the filter stuff as far as i know a lot of the filtering stuff with the items so it, like i mean it's a guy that does a lot of work there's people asking for legal consequences for breaking the nda other people saying that no one would actually go to the fiction 
Extra Life website to find any details out, but there, there's still people that would. He has a lot of people watching him for a reason. They're going to look at his stuff, to be perfectly honest. Someone said, like, it's a shit show, hellhole, they'll never visit it again. Other people, like, asking, other people just saying that they need to get the, like, Puff Vex only to do something about it. It's destroyed all the hype. I mean, I think that's a bit too much. Like, the video wasn't even up for an hour, like, two hours maximum. From the time i'm making this video so it's not like it was got a massive i don't know how many views it actually got because it was there it got sixty nine thousand views okay maybe i lied it got seventy thousand views in like one hour <laughs> literally jesus that's a lot of fucking views we also have gazzy like saying this is pretty wild never ever seen a poe give out review access before but to pick fixture of all media outlets is crazy to me the audacity that then break the nda and post it on youtube is truly stirring the pot this is more about like personal hurt feelings to i feel like it's because it, if it was them that given access and they were like because i'm pretty sure fixture isn't gonna break an nda do you know how many youtubers there was multiple youtubers today that dropped the video that dropped a video on the review there's another guy here german strands now uh, it talks about the campaign being 35 to 40 hours and dropping a video on it which is a uh, video unavailable so there's definitely more and they all dropped on the same day so i'm guessing this is a thing where the nda was dropped for this point so there's gonna be nothing legal done about it because multiple people did it but you give a list of things that came up here and there's a lot of there, there was two or three videos that came up some of them were not really seen as much and they got taken down within the first hour of people complaining so you had like all of the information now i'm not gonna like talk about it too much because i want to see exactly Exactly. I want to play the game as it comes. I mean, knowing how long the acts are going to be is not that big of a deal, to be perfectly honest. It's not the end of the world. What was released on that video is nothing that we don't already know, to be perfectly honest. As far as I know from someone who told me who's actually watched it, and I haven't seen it because I don't, I didn't choose to look at that content, personally speaking. So it's not something that I'm going to look at because I don't want to know, which is a lot of the problem that a lot of these people have. Why are you ruining this? You clicked on the link, man. You look gameplay impressions, early access review you is it the best rpg of all time of course that's going to be that so if you clicked on it you, you've spoiled it for yourself to be perfectly honest <clears throat> i personally don't think it's that big of a deal and i personally don't think it hasn't ruined it for a lot of people but honestly i do understand that there were some first like first in the world people that wanted to do it first but you don't have to count the early access period as something you count it from the day that it launches along with all the other players you don't have to count because people can have four months to do all the content and if you do it in 24 hours or less then that's your business man you've done it and i think that's all that's really going to matter to a lot of the players and a lot of the people watching your content i don't think it's that big of a deal i think everyone can agree that someone who's had a couple of months on an early access build isn't really counted in the world's first i keep saying first world really bad i mean let me know down below what you guys actually think do you think they've nda was broken do you think there was an nda at all was there anything there to begin with do you think if there was an nda that she really get in a lot of shit let me know down below what you think let me know if you think this is actually a massive drama because as i said earlier i personally don't think it's that big of a deal but anyway i just wanted to get a little catch up there's probably gonna be more information tomorrow so look forward to a video tomorrow make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already for your survival gaming goodness fly safe and avoid local chat scams